A lip reduction done previously uh, by another doctor and a lot more pain, right? Yeah, a lot of pain. And obviously did not accomplish anything. Hmm. Like goose egg zero? Yeah, it's like same results. And he charged more than me, right? Yeah, 6000 <laughs> <laughs> Had to say that. Um, so he charged more for me, got no, no results. He was, he, I heard he, he was burning a lot of this fat, so which is not good. And it, so that's bad too. So I really try to cut down my cautery just to the, the pinpoint areas. You don't want to be, because you destroy tissue, you can cause a lot of mucosal problems, you can cause a lot of uh, healing issues. So when I cauterize, which I didn't even cauterize today, uh, there's there's no pain. I what I did is I used a, a tranexamic acid or TXA, which really cuts down bruising. He barely bled during the procedure, uh, and also um, when I did the procedure, I, I used a very layered block. It took me about an hour, right, to block it. So first, you felt zero pain, right? Am I not? No pain. No pain. Let's start. Yeah. So he's still numb here. I'm using a longer block because I don't want him to have pain afterwards. But essentially, I used a. Um, uh, a stage block for two reasons. One is no burning, no pain. That's huge. Like, you don't, he doesn't feel the needles go in. So that's a huge thing. People don't even believe he's not getting paid to say this. No paid testimonials. The second reason is that when I take my time, the, the block took longer than the surgery, didn't it? Yes. Yeah, it took longer. Yeah, I, I really feel like, uh, I think like an hour, yeah. an hour or so. It took me an hour to block him, which he felt nothing, but it allows me to get what's called the uh, epinephrine load on there so that he has no almost no bleeding. So that causes a lot less bruising afterwards, a lot less swelling, a lot less pain. Um, so that's the first thing. The second thing for him, he didn't. I didn't take a lot off his top lip. He did not want a ton removed, but he wanted a lot removed off the bottom lip. So, But in order to take the bottom lip reduced enough, I had to do some top lip. If I just left the top lip alone, he would have come back to want to do his top lip because it would not have looked balanced. His major reason was he didn't like the color of his lip. Now, his lower lip is very pink. They were um, very, very pink on the top portion. He didn't like that. So I was able to roll that back on his bottom lip, make it substantially smaller, probably about 40% smaller. His top lip is only about 20% or less smaller just to match the bottom lip. He wanted them to be about the same. So we've gotten them pretty close. Uh, I was also, he had a little bit of pink show from the top lip, so I was able to reduce the pink lip on the top lip as well. But his main goal was the bottom lip reduction. Uh, so those are just a quick narr narrative of what I did, how I did it. And it's really good in a way that he's had a procedure done somewhere else, so there's a point of comparison with what I've done, with what he's had done. Anyone want to make any comments? I know he's still not talking too well. Uh, well, uh, when he was injecting the... Um What's it Who's he? Him? The other doctor? No, no, you. Me? Okay. Yeah, uh, when you were injecting the, um, the, the on the locker, yeah. I, I, um, I, I thought I was going to heal pain, but, like, okay. like, there was no pain whatsoever. So, like, uh, and during the procedure, I didn't, I didn't heal nothing. I, like, I, I was kind of, I was kind of wondering, like, how come I'm not healing nothing? <laughs> All I felt was, like, hydration and, like, uh, like a little, a little bit of healing. Yeah. Other than that, it was all good. And I walked him through the whole procedure with that. So this is really my specialty. I've done thousands of these lip reductions, both for ethnic lips. And ethnic doesn't have to be African-American. It can be Asian. It can be Hispanic. It can even be white. Uh, any lip that's just too large, I do it for vascular malformations, things that people are born with congenital issues, traumatic injuries, um, scars, things like that. Uh, asymmetry, born with asymmetry. We're always asymmetric. I'm not going to get the two lips the same, but just improved. Um, also, I've done it for uh, the biggest one I probably do most frequently now is for silicone for uh, over-injected permanent fillers, fat grafting uh, to the lips, uh, bioplastique, uh, polyacrylamide gels, a lot of things that you just simply can't get out, you can't dissolve it, so I, I do uh, lip surgeries for this. Um, it's totally awake, patient's totally awake, I sort of give him what's called tachesthesia, which means I try to relax him through my voice, and then the procedure itself, because I don't hurt him, he, the whole thing is done awake, and he felt nothing, as he said. So hopefully that gives you an idea of what I do and how I do it.